Hello everyone and welcome back to another video here on KF Plus LEGO Mastery where today we have a brand new engine and I have been putting this engine off for too long knowing that I have all the pieces that I actually need. Now that I have finally built one, I can proudly say that I have made an inline four LEGO vacuum engine. This is a double upload for this weekend. So if you saw yesterday's video, I had the square four engine to celebrate a thousand subscribers and like i said at the end of the video i have a q a which i'll be doing in the next video so stay tuned for that and leave your questions down below and i will surely answer them anyway um let's run this engine so guys here we go let's run this engine So guys, now that you have seen it actually running, um, let's take a look on the inside and 
It is really long, as you may notice, and it's hard to fit all the way in the frame. So hopefully I'll be able to get some good views for you guys. Anyway, let's take off the cylinder heads and view the inside of the engine. Now that we've got the actual engine open, you can see all four of the pistons. And as you can see, it is a cross-plane setup. So each of the pistons are 90 degrees apart from each other. Basically, the firing order is not as a conventional um, inline four cylinder would be, considering that vacuum engines are a two-stroke engine. So you can really have any timing you want. Anyways, the timing for this one is one, three, two, four. And the cylinder numbers go from the flywheel back. So this is one, two, three, and four. So that's basically how it works. And the manifold here, it basically comes and joins together here. And it makes for maximum airflow, easy airflow, and it's able to run really quickly. Now it is a very smooth running engine. As with most of my engines, I have obviously looped it up with olive oil and it works excellently. Now, if you remember from yesterday's video, I actually made a square four engine, basically where this half of the engine was just right here and it was in a square form. It was really simple just to make this engine. From that, I just took this half and put it here. It operates with single valve system, very simple stuff. And yeah, that's really all there is to it. So that's the explanation. Anyway guys, that's going to just about wrap up today's video on my inline four Lego vacuum engine. If you have any suggestions or comments, as well as questions for the Q&A, please be sure to leave them down in the description. Anyway guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching. And if you have the time, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. It would mean a lot for all your support. Anyway guys, that's going to do it for today. Hope you all did enjoy, and I will see you all in the next video. See ya!